Today on the channel, we're back in business, Wildcat business, with our third unboxing video of Playmates Wildcats. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our third unboxing of the Playmates Wildcats figures based on the Image comic books. But remember, for all your modern day Wildcats needs, hit up uh, your local garage sale this summer because that's your best bet. These are long gone from the shelves, 16 years off. You're not going to find these at ringside, obviously, or Big Bad Toy Store or anywhere else. Uh, very interesting figures, as we talked about in the first two series episodes of these. Uh, this is the third unboxing, with at least one more to go after this. Uh, as we walk through memory lane of the mid-90s and the crazy time in the toy world, comic book world, trading card world, with Image Comics and Wildcats. Wildcats also in a video game, as we read on the back of one of the packages. Never played it for Super Nintendo, but would like to track it down uh, and maybe give it a dab. Give it a, give it a try. See what it's like. Um, but uh, Image Comics were all the rage in the mid-90s, like I said, and the Wildcats were one of the first teams based in Image Comics with Jim Lee, who had just recently jumped over from Marvel, and most know Jim Lee as the 90s X-Men, brought us a lot of the iconic looks that we all love to this day, and the ones we want in our figures to this day. So we owe a debt of gratitude to Jim Lee. He jumped over and created Wildcats, like we talked about in the other videos, a little bit of a nod to the X-Men. I always kind of felt like the Wildcats are what Jim Lee would have made the X-Men if he got to control their backstories. Uh, that's kind of how it felt. And every character had kind of a nod to an X-Men character. At least the way I saw it, that's how I always felt. And this is the bad guys we're unboxing here today. We're unboxing some of the Wildcat villains. And we're going to start it off with one of the big villains from Series 1. Uh, with the Demon Knight, Demon Knight, I've never known how to spell this or say this, I guess I should say. But to me, this was always a nod to the Brood from the X-Men universe. It looks kind of like a Brood. It's always what it's reminding me of a little bit. And uh, these are kind of the assistants to Hellspont. We're going to unbox Hellspont here in a second. Uh, but let's look at the Demon Knight, Demon Knight packaging first like we always do. Then we'll unbox it, talk about it. We'll move on to the next one, work our way through the video, have a few see you laters in between, and away we'll go. But there's that Wildcats packaging. We know it very well after the first two videos, but I absolutely love it. I still love it to this day. It would be very cool to keep these all on card, but just I don't got the real estate for that, for these. I don't care that much, honestly. But uh, very cool. Wildcats graphics on the side. Very cool monster looking deal in there. And then you got a little weapon, a little blurb down here. And then you get to the back. A lot of wordiness on the back. Too much words on the back, obviously. And that goes from a guy that loves good descriptions, love backgrounds, but just too much on this one for me. Just far too much. So there it is. Let's see if there's anything to note here. Uh, let's see, he's got a regenerative molecular blaster, a high-energy weapon capable of exponential power blast. That's some big, big words in the 90s. Uh, I lived through it, and it was tough. It was tough in English class. What are these big words we're getting thrown at? This is the 90s. This is the years of the big words. Get out of here with all that. Come on. Uh, Damonite status stasis chamber. <laughs> This is unbelievable. What kind of kids can read these and understand them? I don't even know what these words mean, and I'm 40 years old. Uh, maybe I need to go back to the high school. I don't know. I, maybe I didn't pay enough class uh, attention in class. Damonite Stasis Chamber, a hermetically sealed ectogenesis reservoir for spawning Damonites. This is part of the reason this line didn't succeed. Too confusing to read, too confusing to understand, too deep of a story. You don't want to get so deep and so in tune into these big stories that you lose the average Joe. I feel like that's what Wildcats did. It got too crazy, got too lumped into the crazy computer madness of the 90s that everything had to be so technological and crazy and computers and this, computers that. I was just happy to get my AOL account going. I was hoping for that modem noise and I'd see that guy running. Those were great times, but just too much here. It's just too much. I think that's part of why Wildcats failed. Um, these are alien foe of the Wildcats, giant demon aliens. They're the embodiment, embodiment of evil. I, I can't read. I, I can't. I'm, it's tough. 
<laughs> they have come to Earth to conquer the planet. Unable to survive in this atmosphere. Yeah, just a lot of jibber-jabber. I don't know, like Mr. T would say. Let's open this guy. I remember I had like five of these. I army built these back in the day. And there it is. See you later. Uh, the old three for ten sale. It got me good. One day I had some money burning my hole in my pocket. I said, I need like five of these. And that's what I did. I bought a bunch of them. There he is in the old plastic prison. Like I said, very reminiscent of Brood. They remind me of from the X-Men. Will I get an autograph card? I will not. Some things never change. A thousand years ago, aliens from the warring planets of Karub and Damon were stranded on Earth and continued their conflict here. Just bringing their conflicts to our planet. Get out of here. Uh, Damonites were able to blend in by possessing human host bodies, taking human forms, and keeping their own unearthly powers. Without their host bodies, Demonites cannot survive for long in the Earth's atmosphere. That's a shame. Go, go back to your planet then. All right, let me get this out. Maybe... See you later. Very sticky. Very sticky. So it comes with this little like uh, chamber thing. I don't know. What do you even do with this? It's like a basketball? I don't know. I love this thing though. It looked awesome back in the day. It still looks awesome now. This could fit into anything. Uh, you could put this with your Marvel Legends and have this as some kind of bad guy uh, mixed in with your Marvel Legends. Very solid monster looking thing. I keep saying it, but it always reminded me of um, the Brood from the X-Men comics. Get this gun in there. Kind of weird to see an alien like this with a gun, but hey, it happens in Star Wars every once in a while. Some crazy paint, paint applications on this one. Veins throughout. Uh, crazy feet. Got spiked back. Like a stegosaurus. Very solid. Probably the coolest one. Taking a step back, you look at them all not knowing anything about it. This one probably could be the coolest. The two extra little arms here. Next level. I think he can hold the little uh, little chamber deal. So a lot of cool stuff you can do there. I will note too, we've talked about stands with every single one of these. These come with a green stand for the bad guys. Let me get this out here. See you later. Pops right in there and there it is. Got a little green stand. I love that they come with stands. Nobody's a bigger fan than an action figure stand than I am. Uh, and I always say it, spend your money on your figures, not your stands. And when the figures come with the stands, beautiful. It's a two for one. Uh, but yeah, is what it is here. Uh, I like this one. Like I said, I had a lot of these back in the day. They were prime army building, especially a 3 for 10 at KB. Uh, $10 was probably like $20 now, but hey, it is what it is. It was 3 for 10. You had to jump. Gotta get a deal. How many deals can you afford? I don't know. How many Damonites do you got? That's the question. So there it is. The first one of the bad guy villain wave. We're unboxing the Damonite. Let's move to the next one. All right. The villains continue. We've got another villain from series two. And that is Pike. And we talk about it in every single one of these. All these guys, all these characters have some nods back to some of the X-Men. And when I see Pike here, who do you guys think of? Who does that guy kind of remind you of in the X-Men universe? Yeah, if you guessed Deadpool, you're right. This always reminded me of a throwback to Deadpool. Very similar character to Deadpool. Kind of an assassin for hire. Uh, ends up being a bad guy. All that kind of fun stuff. Uh, so once again, kind of stealing from the X-Men. I do feel this is part of the reason it didn't last. The mid-90s were an interesting time. Uh, people were throwing a lot of things against the wall. These new teams, Image, they thought they'd get off to a hot start, and they did. But they just didn't keep the interest through the years like the X-Men have. And then you throw all this crazy words and all this crazy big thinking technology stuff into things, plus some knockoffness. Uh, it's just a recipe for disaster, and I don't think that's... I think that's why the Wildcats really went the way of the Dodo Bird and just disappeared. Uh, but we've talked about it before, maybe in this video, I can't even remember, but I know we mentioned it in the other two. The Wildcats universe, whatever you want to call it, was engulfed into the DC universe. So if we ever see these figures again or these characters again, it will be in the DC universe. But there's old Pike. He's like a young boss, big boss man with those nightsticks. Better watch out. He's, he's coming down to Cobb County, Georgia. But yeah, he looks like Deadpool and he acts like Deadpool. I don't know if he's as mouthy as Deadpool, especially mid-90s Deadpool. It was a different time. Deadpool was mouthy, but not nothing like he is now. Uh, I was an original OG Deadpool fan, I remember back in the day. I was a huge Deadpool guy when he was just starting out. I was all in on those X-Force days. So there's the back. A lot of people in these sets. A lot of words back here as well. Let's see what it says here. Hyper Blaster with Laser Sight. A true villain... Pike relishes attacks with his long-range handheld cannon. The deadly laser sight allows him to zero in on his wildcat prey. 
He's got the breakaway battle staff. This weapon of horror separates into two battle staves, giving Pike two-handed double destruction power, destructive power, uh, that especially works well when fighting characters like Nails and the Big Boss Man in the WWF ring. Very interesting at comments there. I, I, maybe I made that up. Damonite Battle Base. Pike stands ready to spread doom and destruction against the Wildcats as the chief enforcer of the Cabal. He's like a young Orrin Anderson. He's the enforcer. Uh, but he does come with a green stand like all the villains do, apparently. Let's bust him out. Plastic prison. Uh-oh. Fell right off. Got the old three for ten here. See you later. Will. Oh, jeez. Yikes. I've got a crazy aim the last couple of days. I've been knocking stuff down all over the place lately. I don't know. Just dead eye. Will I have the Jim Lee autograph? Will I get it? We're like 0 for 8 now. Uh, let's see if I can get it right now. Oh, no. Nope. See you later. Oh, nothing. Come on. What's a guy got to do to get a Jim Lee autograph? But there he is in the plastic prison. He's ready to fall out. Always like this character, though. I mean, I like Deadpool, so I guess, hey, I like this guy. I don't know. There it is. See you later. Very 90s artwork. Very 90s. Larger than life. Muscles on top of muscles. That's how Image was in the 90s. After rejecting his Caribbean, and I don't even know if I've ever said that right, but it is what it is. That's how I pronounce it. Uh, Origins, Pike aligned himself with the Daemonites, acting as chief enforcer for Hellspawn, who would be like the Ric Flair, I guess, if he's the enforcer. Uh, Pike has become one of the evil leader's most trusted lieutenants in the battle against the Wildcats and their fellow Caribbean. Pike is an even greater th threat when armed with his hyperblaster and breakaway battle staff. Well, of course he is. Always like this thing. It goes together very cool. Pull it apart. You can have a twofer. Or you can have one. You know, whatever you want to do. And then he's got a, a little blaster. Eh, is what it is. I always like the uh, staff the most. Uh, a little bit of paint issues here on the side. This first one I've noticed with some paint rubbing off. Uh, this one also, articulation very limited by the hard shoulder blades here. You can't, that's as far as you can go. I don't remember that either. I remember there was a repaint of this one that was really cool. It was like all black or all like smoke gray, something like that. It was like a stealth suit. And I remember having that back in the day. I'm saying it right now. I'm not going to get these repaints, but you guys know how it goes. You know, I always say that and then I break my own rules. Um, but I'm going to try my hardest not to get the repaints this time. Uh, so we'll see if I can last. Uh, but he does hold both of these. Come on. I always liked him with this better. I always felt that was kind of cool. He could fight with these two staffs like a young big boss man i wish there was a holster in his back for his gun i like to be able to store all my accessories on a character so you don't lose them and all that kind of fun stuff uh but it is what it is i still like this one a lot even though he does scream deadpool knockoff um he's still pretty cool all in all especially these staffs and the coloring work uh, the green and the red very 90s just the screams 90s superheroes is what the whole wildcats line does as you guys are probably well aware so there it is Pike, one of the meanest, nastiest enforcers in the villain category we've ever seen. But now we got the big baddie, the main bad guy from the Wildcats line, and that's Hellspont. All right, here we are, the final one of this video at least, and it's the main baddie, old Hellspont from the uh, Wildcats line. Now I will mention, this is one of the repaints. This isn't the original Hellspont. Uh, I actually kind of like this one more. He's got a crazier arms on him instead of just the black arms. But you know, I might track him down. My actual, my local toy store has the two-pack of Spartan and the original Hellspot for $8.99. I already have the Spartan. Maybe I'll give it away. A, a Wildcat giveaway. It'll break the internet. Everybody will want that. They'll say, oh my gosh, you got a loose Spartan you're giving away? That thing goes for like $8.99 in package. I can't imagine what it goes for loose. Um, but I might get that one just for that Hellspot and... I don't know if somebody really wants that Spartan. I'll send it your way, maybe. Uh, but I got the repainted one. It came in a lot. I got a few of these for $10 plus $10 shipping. So it was 20 bucks for three of these. I think that was, I got this one, Pike, and maybe the Damon Knight. I think it was actually this whole three pack we just unboxed, actually, now that I think of it. So I think I got all three of these for $20 shipped. That tells you how cheap these are. Uh, not a lot of fondness for the 90s Wildcats. Not everybody like me is just... Uh, reminiscing and thinking of the mid 90s uh the wildcat toys and i'd be very curious i need to look on youtube has anybody even reviewed or talked about wildcat playmates toys from the 90s uh, i don't know i don't know if there's a market for this but you know is there a market for anything these days i don't know what am i doing but let's open him up there's the old packaging on hell spont for some reason i remember him having a different name but apparently he didn't unless i just couldn't read i don't know 
Uh, very interesting uh, villain, kind of fiery head. Got the big cape. You guys know if you're a villain, you got to have a big cape. That's just the way it goes. Got some interesting weapons here. Will I get the Jim Lee autograph? Is now the time? It would be a great time to do it. There's the back of the packaging. A lot going on as usual. Let's see what it says. Anything interesting here? Super. They're promoting that Super Nintendo game. Did anybody have it? Did anybody play it? I need to know. I bet it was awesome. Uh, it comes with a regenerative molecular blaster, a brutal weapon from the bizarre alien technology typical of the evil Damianites. It's it disintegrates a target by atom by atom. It's too complicated, guys. Too complicated. They should have had young Kyle come there and, guys, we got to dumb this down. We got to dumb it down. Uh, it comes with a bio-generated fusion ball, one of the most dreaded weapons in the Damianite arsenal. The fusion ball generates destructive hydrogen fields that cause total obliteration. Like, is there a seven-year-old kid that's like, oh my gosh, that's hydrogen fields? Oh my goodness. No, they don't know what that is. It's just too much. It's getting me hot. I'm getting hot here. It's just too complicated. They ruined Wildcats. They could have had the X-Men Part 2. It's just too complicated. It's too complicated now. Anyways. Uh, he's the Dark Ruler. Never-ending battle for greed. You guys know how it goes. Malice, the Demonite Way. A lot of exclamation points, a lot of capital letters, a lot of different font changes. It's the 90s. That's what happens. All right. Let's open him up. Enough of that jibber-jabber. This is the one I'm getting the autograph in. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Three for ten. Gotta love that price. See you later. Comes with the green stand. They gotta have the green. If they're a villain, they got a green stand. That's just the way it goes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, where's that autograph? Jim Lee hiding he's hiding from me hellspont's power and ruthlessness make him the undisputed leader of the daemonites when hellspont dons a ceremonial battle dress that allows him to remember the ancient combatants of the evil past and helps him develop new schemes to rule the galaxy let the wildcats beware he puts that cape on and man it's game on he starts remembering back to the old days and how to win the war and all that kind of fun stuff there he is in the old ceremonial plastic prison all right so he's got the same that oh, we're falling out. Get this fireball out of here. He has the exact same gun as the Daemonite we just unboxed, except in black instead of green. See you later. So there is that. Love this big flowing cape on him. I almost think we got reuse out of this cape on Mr. Majestic, but we'll, uh, he's in the next unboxing video. We'll talk a little Mr. Majestic uh, next. How does this stay on? I don't want to break this cape, that's for sure. I know it's it's staying on by some kind of magic. I'm not exactly sure, but you don't question it. The Daemonite's got all kinds of magic. Um, I don't know. I don't remember really using this gun with him either. It doesn't fit very good. I guess you can have it sideways there. Like, oh, yeah, that's, that's about what happens. The gun falls on the floor. I like the green kind of tiger striped arms he's got going on. I think that is very solid. Can he hold this fire at least? I mean, he's got cool looking hands. He just can't hold anything. Oh, there you go. It's like he's holding a burrito. Look at that. There he is, old Hellspot. Love the back of his head, that blue flame. How cool is that? Got that purple cape and red on the inside. Very colorful, very cool, very evil, very Mephisto looking, I guess you would call it, if you want to throw it back to another uh, Marvel Universe character. Um, I don't know. This one's all right. I don't. I, I really like this villain back in the day. I like him now. I think he had a cool look to him. I think this could still work. I have no idea where he is now. I assume he's in the DC Universe as well, but I don't think he's being used anywhere. Uh, he must have went back to the old Demonite planet and ruling over there off panel somewhere. I don't know. But there it is. Old Hellspont. A lot of villains in this day. We're opening up all the bad guys. Hellspont, Pike... And then the Demonite. I think you got to say this one's the coolest one because this could be used for a lot of different things. And I always thought it looked pretty cool. It's like a mix between Alien and the Brood is what that reminds me of. Get these guys to stay here by magic. So there it is. A little villain Wildcats unboxing. You guys tell me. you have any memories of these guys? Did you pick these up? Stay tuned for the next Wildcats video we got one of these days. And then, of course, go back if you missed the other two. We got two more where we do the core team. These are the villains. Next unboxing will be kind of the ancillary characters, I guess. Some of the other guys in there. Uh, and probably some hot garbage, to be honest. But we'll see. We'll, get, we'll keep it with some fresh eyes. Some fresh 2021 eyes. Looking at 1994, 95 figures. 
always interesting always an interesting trip down memory lane so i hope you guys enjoyed the video give me your comments don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and for the wildcats and image comics and playmates and myself i'm kyle i'll see you guys all real soon